Notion has just rolled out a feature called Notion Sites, which enables you to build really interactive websites with all the building blocks that Notion already provides. Coming up. I have uh, built this website here. Essentially, if I scroll down, you can see I have my blog page where people can see all my blog posts. And also I have various pages like about page, privacy policy page, cookie page and whatnot. So if I scroll back up, this is the home page right here. I have made use of a notion columns feature like you have two column, three column layouts here to just have my pick in column two and this text in column one. And also I have made use of uh, notion button element if i can just type in button here when button is clicked open newsletter page in center pick so that when i click on this button it will open my separate newsletter page that i have in notion in a pop-up so that people can subscribe to my newsletter and here i have embedded paper form which is a service that i use for all my form building needs and here i have designed this image banner image in canva uploaded it to Notion, and just made it full width so that it stretches to this entire width of this page. And here I have included the, an image of all the websites that I'm featured in. And I've made sure that these logos are in gray color so that this website would look good even in dark mode. And also the cover image. It's compatible with both dark and light modes. Again, there are a lot of websites that offer you uh, Notion cover images that are compatible with both dark and light mode. Now, when it comes to making this site live, you can go to share and here by default, this option will be there, right? Your username dot notion dot site. Notion subdomains are free, but if you want to add your own domain here, you can just go to manage all domains. And under this, you need to enter in your domain name. Right. In this case, I'm entering notion.akshahello.com. I'm entering a subdomain. You can include root domain here as well. And in the next step, it will ask you to complete the payment that is $10 per month. And then it will present you the domain records that you need to add to your domain registrar for it to point to Notion servers. Here I'm making use of Cloudflare to manage my DNS records. I can just add a C name, enter in the subdomain that is Notion. In your case, if you're Hosting it on a root domain, you can just enter at the rate symbol or just leave it blank. Just copy paste these records so that your domain or subdomain in this case will be pointing to Notion servers. And once this is done, it may take quite some time for DNS propagation to complete. And then you can just revalidate button and then you will be all set. And this custom domains feature is available as an add-on at $10 per month, which is a quite competitive rate because um, if you're dealing with WordPress, first you need to deal with all the technicalities, plugin conflicts and slugginess. So if you're going with the uh, cloud platforms like Webflow and Framer, they cost anywhere between like uh, $20 to $30 ideally. But Notion launching this at $10 per month is quite decent uh, compared to other platforms, considering that your pages will be having a lot of uh, feature rich elements and it can be more interactive as Notion is after all a tool building tool and comes with a lot of building blocks. Now here I can set the default theme of this uh, web page, dark mode, light mode. So I have made the design of this home page compatible with both dark and light. And also I can set the fav icon for this web page header and this and in this header you can set the breadcrumb so that when people browse within the blog post in this website, they will be able to display where they are. And you have search option, duplicate as template, this would not be applicable for websites. Notion watermark, you can turn it off. And here under navigation, you can add various Notion pages that needs to be there in the navigation. You can add a page and just search for an existing page you have. For example, this page I have, right? I can just drag it up. I can just drag it up. Blog, newsletter, about and contact. Right, so I may need to rename this page to make it only blog. First, I will be publishing the changes. Then scrolling down, I will be going to here, just making it block. And here, if I go, it's under this URL. As of now, there's no possibility for you to enter in any uh, slug here for custom URLs. Now, if I go back, go to share, copy this link and open this link in a web browser, you can see that this website is live. Again, my image took a while to be loaded. Maybe I need to compress it because Notion doesn't handle image optimization for me. That's one disadvantage. And here, if I go to subscribe to newsletter, 
a pop-up will be triggered allowing people to sign up. Also, I have links to all these pages here that I can navigate. Now, if I scroll down here, this view all blog posts button will open a side peak view for people to browse through all my blog posts, articles, or even tutorials. I can just again go to share here. There is also option for you to enable Google Analytics on your website, but you don't have any option to include custom header code for your website. Again, that may lead to some privacy implications for Notion. So as of now, they have only enabled Google Analytics here. And if I go back under share, you have search engine indexing. Here you can just type, uh, just make this web page discoverable on the web. Include the link title, that is the meta title. This would be the description that Google will be displaying uh, for this specific web page and save changes. Apart from this, uh, you have a lack of uh, SEO features, like say you don't have option to uh, edit the URLs of the web page. Like for example, if I open in any web page here, it's the blog post. Here, although it's published, it doesn't give me the ability to edit this URL. This is very important because Notion changes the URL when you change the title. Of course, it handles the three node one redirection from the old URL to new URL, but still it changes the target URL. So it makes sense for them to include an option for us to customize the slug. There's a long way to go. Uh, although Notion has all the uh, CMS features like uh, database items and properties, but there is a need for more powerful features like the ability to use these database item properties anywhere inside the page's content further increasing the flexibility in terms of website building.